Okay, I think I'm set up here. Just wanted to do a quick uh, stream. Um, as probably you've seen, I've posted a couple of videos of what I found here in Las Vegas. And just a quick, I, I think I, I did it, I showed in an earlier stream, but I, I did uh, I would look back that at that stream and it was not that great because the lighting and, and everything. So kind of redoing it again uh, just to show a quick haul video before I go out again. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to I might go back to some of those shops again that I went to to because um, there are some items that I didn't pick up that I'm thinking about picking up again. But anyway, um, this is what I got so far from the different shops that I went visited visited here in Vegas. Um I did I think I posted that I got this Masters of the Universe Mega Construct set. Um I got that here. Um when I was in San Diego I got the five pack. Uh I believe I got this at a Walmart. I also picked up these two um figures today from a local Walmart. Evil Lynn and Mad at Arms, and they'll go well with um, the the five packs that I got earlier. Um, and probably everybody knows that I did pick up some GoBots. This is Psycho, a Super GoBot. I got this at Brad's, yeah, Brad's Toys and Collectibles over here, and he's in very good condition. I mean, considering the age, everything works. All the joints are tight enough. I uh, I might go back and tighten them a bit more, but I think I think they work well. And then I got this other Super Gobot. Current issue with him is the loose head, but um, uh, a lot of folks on my Instagram identified him as Defender. Uh, head keeps falling down over here. Anyway, I thought he looked really cool because uh kind of reminded me of Megatron with this uh large can in here. So and he's made out of die cast metal, which is which is always a plus for me. So besides those two GoBots, I also picked up this uh Combiner Wars Rekgar. Um, I didn't have him, so I picked him up. This Mirage repaint. I'm not sure his name. I, I still have to identify him. There you go. So there's a repaint of Classics Mirage. He looks pretty cool. I like the colors, but I got to figure out... Um, who the character is? I I hear he's a Decepticon, but oddly enough, there no there are no emblems on him, no insignia, so it's it's a bit hard to tell if he is. Yeah, there's his head, but pretty nice repaint of the mold. I you know this is not exactly my favorite classics mold, but I thought it was pretty unique for Mirage. And then the other Transformer that I picked up was commem Commemorative Edition Skids. And that's because I had Skids as a kid. See, so I get them in frame. Skids as a kid. I think that's pretty much it. Well, no, that's not it. I did pick up Legends Mystique because I'm trying to build a 90s X-Men collection. So, found her. Pretty hard to find in Hawaii. And I also picked up some comics. There was a comic shop I went to um, that had a lot of old G1 issues that um, really took me back. So I got issue four of the original four issue, what was supposed to be a miniseries. Ended up being over 80 issues. I was looking for issue 5. I couldn't find it, but I did find issue 6, which, in my opinion, has one of the other... It's one of the best covers I've seen. Um, if if issue 5 is my most favorite 
cover for the G1 comics, this is probably my next favorite. And also in this comic, um, just um, the battle between Megatron and Shockwave, you know, as a kid, I rem it was so memorable for me. And it's actually in pretty good condition. I mean, I, I'm not a, I don't collect the comics for, for the grade of it, but um, mainly just to have it. And also, one thing that the digital reissues don't, don't have are these. It's these old ads um, that kind of take me back um, when I look at them. Like some of these old ads, I remember seeing them all the time. But it's kind of weird. I don't think comics nowadays have ads. Hey, Patriot Pine. How you doing? Check out. I found this comic. <laughs> Issue 6. Th that, that's my... I was just saying that's my second uh, most favorite cover uh, from the G1 series. But this issue I thought was really cool. Even though it had that funky art style. But... This is probably one of my most favorite, uh, pa this page in the comic. Yes, which brings me to this issue, Circuit Breaker. I found it, I'm like, you know what? Uh, since you've been posting about Circuit Breaker, it's been on my mind and I saw it and I'm like, you know, I got to get the issue where, where uh, Circuit Breaker first appeared. And going a little bit ahead myself where she also returns so and mainly i got these two issues because i'm hoping to make a custom yeah shockwave was and this comic hey kato's how are you doing so this is the this is uh the first appearance of omega and I would read this issue as a comic, uh, as a kid, as a comic, over and over again because I actually had Omega Supreme as a toy, and I never forgot. Um, where is this part? There's just one. There's just one. Air, uh, yeah. So let me get to. Yeah, this. I I never forget his, the the words over here. Yeah, they they are in great shape. It says, prepare to meet your manufacturer Decepticons. I, man, that, and just the, the, the short words over here. I mean, I would read this over and over again. I'm the guardian of, or, or, yeah, over here, up here. I'm the guardian of the gates, the junction of your destruction, the laser lightning to, your, to the way to your doom. I mean, just just the way they made him talk was was so awesome. Yeah, that's true. It wiped out a lot of the Decepticons. But hey, if you're going to get wiped out by by an Autobot, I mean, they've had the distinct honor of getting wiped out by Omega Supreme. <laughs> but just I've, this this one page was I don't know when I was a kid. I, I just thought it was so awesome. Yeah, the barely visible face of it. And over here, uh, yeah, this this is my other favorite part. He goes, uh, Megatron tells him he's scrap metal, waiting to to be born in the blast of his fusion cannon. He just says one word, wrong. <laughs> Your analysis has no basis, in fact. It, it, I don't know, they just made Omega so cool. Um... It, it's, it is, so I was really happy to find this. Yeah, it it, it is. Um, and it brings back, I think the main reason I, I picked it up, it, it brings back so much memories uh, when I was a child. And just, I I had the toy. And I don't know, um, you know, when, when you're in school and stuff, and I, I knew a lot of the kid classmates, <laughs> We're a little bit envious because I had Omega Supreme <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, that's back when you're in, in school, right? Unfortunately, yes. Never to be fully utilized again in comics. Um, but, hey. Um, 
this one issue really I don't know it makes up for it for me that uh Omega was just the dialogue and the action and, and everything but yeah so basically I got Transformers 4 6 was hoping to find 5 but didn't get it 9 with Circuit Breaker 19 with Omega and 45 with the return of Circuit Breaker. Um, those, it was a really cool comic shop, really nice vines over there, and was really uh, glad to find it. Nice. Do you, do you have a, a complete uh, collection, uh, Patriot Prime? Because I'm, I'm kind of curious. Oh yeah, I remember the mechanic with uh that, that was with uh Blaster. Um th yeah, that's the time when uh Blaster was highlighted a lot in the comics. So just want to show you this again. You probably saw this. All the cool kids have a psycho for some reason. <laughs> it's like old grade school uh peer pressure, right? Old grade school peer pressure. Nice, nice. You know what? Um, for the original comics, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'll just be a bit more selective if I do get a uh, copy of the original. Like, for me, it'll probably be, probably be just the memorable ones. Yeah, there's a um, there's a psycho down the shop, down the road. Are you looking for one, Kato? But um, yeah. Oh yeah, and th this other super GoBot. Hey, Adamantium. And Ilmatic Prime is here too. Hey, how's it? Better <laughs> get down there, Kato. Yeah, it's like a um. I'm gonna check to see if it's still around. Cause I, I, I oh, you're not looking for one. Okay. <laughs> now you feel like you have to get one too, and stuff. So. Yeah, it's like I said, it's it's the old grade school peer pressure, right? You know, when um all the kids in the on the playground, right, are telling you you gotta get one. <laughs> but um that's pretty much what I got for um here. I, I might go back again, like I said, to see what else because uh, well, there were a couple of shops out there and I just wanted to hit them all first just to see what's out there and then I'm then uh, come back around to see uh kind of you know I don't know I'm I'm a little cheap too so I wanted to kind of gauge what the price was Oh that tank cool They I don't know if you noticed in one of the videos they had a turbo and I really wanted that Gobot turbo but it was missing two tires two rubber tires in fact they're trying to help me um with other GoBots to see if they could replace the tires on Turbo with other tires from other GoBots, but they weren't compatible. I saw Spacey. Yeah. Cool. But other than that, I mean, it, it's, you know, uh, it, it's been a pretty cool trip overall, not just with the toy hunting, but really just visiting the different uh shops as well um a lot of the times just videoing it takes you back in time <laughs> hey did you see that black leader one i saw a black leader one over there and i thought uh, it was it was still mint on card well not mint on card it was still on card but it was a uh, hundred dollars i'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars on a car on a leader one i know it's a uh, alternate paint or a, a repaint but um personally if i were to spend a hundred dollars on the leader one not that i would i would want the gray one but uh, they have a couple of other carded go bots uh, but i you know i'm not familiar with that um but you know it's got me wanting to actually get the machine robo um the new machine robos 
uh, figures of Leader One and Psycho. I might pick them up, especially since Big Bad Toy Store has Psycho, the Machine Robo version of Psycho, um, Psycho, um, for I think thirty dollars. And so, so that I don't know, going down this little rabbit hole here. But the other cool thing was all the masks that I saw, and the you know even though I didn't pick up anything, um, it was kind of cool that they let me take a look at it, you know, play around with it. Yeah. And um, if that um, Thunderhawk didn't have that missing tire, I would have probably picked that up because it was actually still functional. Uh, it it needed new... The stickers had a lot of wear, but um, it also included Matt Tracker, but it was still missing the the his mask. Anyway, um, I wasn't planning to do this too long. I just wanted to quickly share what I picked up. And um, I'm going to head out to the Strip and check some more places out. And actually, I got to get some uh, souvenirs for the family. But I'm going to cut it short. Um, just thank you guys for all stopping by. Good to chat with you, even though it seems one way. But uh that's it those masks don't yeah they don't last well yeah they don't i'm I'm hoping some guy with really good 3d skills makes some 3d models that i could print out of mask that would be that would be really awesome but yeah we'll see what happens anyway i'll see you guys have a good one